Rokan 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. Hi. Hello and howdy. And welcome to Boobays. Boobays, that's Boobays. right. And we are your host, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Joshua. And we are here to talk to you about a cult classic today. Yep. One that uh, I'll admit, on my way here, I was telling Mike <laughs> the studio door was locked. It triggered. And I, I couldn't get in. Mm-hmm. And then like every sound on the street was like making me be like, fuck, the Something's- power line's going to go out and then it's going to hit this window and then it's going to stab me. And then I saw a car coming like while I was driving, obviously, because it was the road. Yeah. And well, death can get pretty creative sometimes. I know. Especially uh, in Final Destination. Final Destination. 2000, the mm-hmm. OG, directed yeah. by James Wong, Stephen Quayle. Yep. And yep. David R. Ellis. All of these three great minds came together to give us a really good movie, like a good horror movie, like mm-hmm. a fresh, well, mm, mm, yeah, I feel like pretty fresh idea. Yeah. And I hadn't seen anything kind of like it before. I hadn't, or I hadn't known until today when like looking it up and stuff, um, like the, you know, to write down who directed it and mm-hmm, stuff, mm-hmm. that the original script was written for an episode of X-Files. Oh, really? Yeah. I did. Mm. I had no clue, but watching yeah. it today, I was like. It sounds about right. Yeah. I was mm-hmm. like, this is 1000% something that could have happened in the X-Files. And instead of Shrek and whatever his name was, <laughs> it should have been Mulder and Scully. Mulder and Scully. That could have been good. I only remembered Shrek's I've, I've, name I've, because I've, his I've, name was Shrek. I haven't seen much of um, like the X-Files oh. before. So, but I've seen a couple episodes, I but loved the this, X-Files. this sounds very much like up that alley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The X-Files was like one of the comfort not comfort but it was like kind of like a family show mm-hmm. growing up that we would be like okay x-files is on we'd watch it wow and then also yeah, I can see that it was like a comfort i would i rewatched it in college mm. and so um, i'd just be like mm, i'm having a bad day turn on the x-files i've seen a few episodes <laughs> recently um and it's it's really cool because now i see like how it's referenced so much in other things and mm-hmm. i'm like oh i get it i get it now yeah yeah, yeah. it is neat and that mm-hmm. is a tv show that there was one episode that had a bowling alley or something <laughs> it's and like it, goosebumps but for adults yes it yeah. basically is and there was like this dead person in the bowling alley or something like a ghost or an alien thing i don't know but i still i think of it every time I'm in a bowling alley. I think that that is a good Which piece of art. Which is at least like then. once a year. Because, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know. You get reminded of it. Yeah. 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 So that's, it stuck with me. And that was one, I haven't seen that one since I was a child. We'll have to find it. We'll yeah. Because I guess I didn't completely finish the series when I was rewatching it in college. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of seasons, right? Yes. There's a lot of seasons. I'm so up right here. About it being 11 seasons. Yeah, that's a fun. <laughs> that's too many. Yeah, 11 of them spanning. Well, that's pretty. Yeah, that's spanning pretty long from like 93. Mm-hmm. All the way right before we were born. That's that's super cool. All the way up until 2016. Yeah, that's or forever. Damn. Yeah, that's a long time. Yep. Yep. Well, that's crazy. Even like just thinking of shows like that Grey's Anatomy show, like it's going to be like oh, it's goodness. been on for like forever. No one, I think I've they're gonna end it finally, it, but but it needs to stop. <laughs> <laughs> they're ending it this year, I believe, or with this next season. I think every time someone's like, "Oh my god, you you haven't seen this," I'm like, "No, that is way too big of a commitment." But we'll see. I cannot get into that. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, to start now, I'll watch an anime that has the first season has 75 episodes, so that's fine. 
but they're like shorter. They're shorter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only twenty five minutes. So it, it it goes by fast. So it doesn't feel as if like you're investing a whole like hour of your time on just one thing where you can fit in like three or four. You exactly. Know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. This but movie was um, just over an hour and a half. Yeah. Pretty pretty easy. It went by to get pretty through. fast for me. It did. Yeah. I watched it free on Tubi. Oh, you did. Yeah, but I I mean it had commercials. Uh huh. Um, I rented it for two ninety nine on yeah. Amazon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went the which TV was cheaper route. than uh, most. Of, no, normally, the Amazon rentals are three ninety three ninety nine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It just they would it would have like one here, and then every once in a while would put like three ads, and then put another one. So shout out to Tubi, yeah, um, Tubi sponsor us, <laughs> <laughs> Tubi, um, and. Uh, yeah, like you said, it was pretty digestible. Um, if you haven't seen it before, um, the premise is just basically um, people are supposed to die. They do not die. They escape death. Death comes after them. Yep. You cannot yeah. escape death, nope. basically. That's the tagline. And <laughs> can we just talk about how I, I only thought there were three? I oh, stopped yeah. paying attention after three. I was like, three, three is still my favorite. Three is a trilogy. Three is my three favorite. Three is just right. Um, Final Destination film. Yeah, there's a there's five, and then there's another one that's going to be coming out soon. I believe. Oh, okay. Because yeah, you had said there were six, and then mm-hmm. I looked it up, and it it said there was only five, and mm-hmm. so I was like, what? But then I figured mm-hmm. we'd talk about it now. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be making another one. I believe it's in the works, or it's it's getting. Um, I know that two and five around. are on Hulu. Yes, yes. Which is confusing. Why yeah. there? And why only those two? And I don't like how number four is called the final destination when clearly we have final destination five. Yeah. I, d- I just don't, I don't, I don't. If if you're going to stick to, like, if you're trying to build this huge thing catalog, know when to stop. And then if you're not intending to stop, don't, don't name it something so final. <laughs> yeah. Literally like the, the, putting the in front of it makes it seem like it's is the it, last one. Is it the final final? Capitalize the no, okay. No, just like capital T H E the final destination, and then there's final destination five. Yeah, oh, so silly. And I think if I'm not mistaken, final destination three was the like the roller coaster. The roller coaster, roller and I coaster. think back in the day it was like <laughs> promoted as like final destination three D. Like it was in three D. Uh, I think in some that's theaters. right because yeah. I think the DVD. Had like those little glasses, the little 3D glasses, with the blue in and the red. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think if you had like the specific kind of television, I remember I had to watch it at my friend's house, mm-hmm. and then it was really fun. It had a choose your own ending DVD oh, yeah. feature, which That's was really cool. cool. You could basically like choose to stay on and watch yourself die, yeah, <laughs> or you could choose to get off. And I think maybe I have like a few more options of like. How you yeah, end up dead? Basically, mm-hmm. it was it was like those treehouse books, the magic treehouse. Would books. you rather get impaled or shot? Yeah, it was really mm-hmm. fun. Pick A or B. It's like how nowadays they have those like story life apps where uh-huh. it's like games where you like do this person oh, do this I used or to this make person do fun that. Fun of my students who would um, play those games, <laughs> play those, and then one time I downloaded it and I was like, Oh yeah, fuck, this is really addicting. I was like, I'm gonna marry this goddamn prince. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've played one before. I've been like, so I, I know you the can gist only of it. get the good options if you spend a lot of money. Oh, and I was like, I'm not going to spend money on this. So I then didn't know that. I had to choose. It was like, do you want to get dressed up super cute to go to the beach, or do you just want to wear a hoodie and sweatpants? <laughs> and it was like, pay five thousand no middle options. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, why can't I just wear like a one piece? Yeah, or something. You need to send a, a comment to the creators of the app, an email. Give us a normal middle ground mm-hmm. that's not. Just something completely off the wall. You're either trash or you're like. It was like clothes. always hoodies and sweatpants. It was mm-hmm. like, do you want to go to the ball in this gown or, or hoodie hoodies and sweatpants? And, sweatpants. <laughs> and I was like, not no. Oh. Can't I just wear a, like a simple black dress? Yeah. Something. Come on. Man. Anyways, was that a free trial? Um. No, it was like the main thing. You could play it for free, but you would have to like but spend the money to get. But if you wanted the- to have choices that made any sense at all and to get the guy to actually fall for yeah. you you had to pay money to shot the money yeah and i, I wasn't willing to at the time no, i mean i don't blame you yeah fictional life it's mm-hmm. not even real yeah it's not yeah oh. <laughs> somewhere though you are married to a prince yes somewhere um but yeah um this movie has um some pretty familiar faces mm-hmm. 
Excuse me. I'm drinking some ginger ale, so it's like the burps. Yeah. Um, but it has um, who is it? Who is it? Devin Sawa, Ali Larder from who we, so many things. Yeah, she's been, a, she's been in a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Um, on television and film. Um, to, to, Tony Todd, um, who is obviously a candy man, mm-hmm. and then we mm-hmm. have some other people that I feel like I've recognized. Kerr Smith. He's been in a few things that I know I've seen. Sean William Scott. Um, dude from uh, was American Pie, American Pie, and then we've got um, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen Terry in anything before, but the other people, everybody was kind of pretty recognizable. Sean William Scott, yeah, he mm-hmm. was probably him and Allie Larder and Tony Todd were probably the three that you most like recognize. noticeable. Yeah, Wendy Christensen. Devin Sawa, Who's I know Wendy like, Christensen. I don't know. That's why I was like, I don't think I've seen her. She oh, was, this must have been probably in one of the. A sequel? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Because she has been in a lot. Mary Elizabeth about? Winstead. Oh, Mary Elizabeth. She's the one in the third one. She's yeah. in the third one. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what I thought. And mm-hmm. I was like, she definitely was not in this. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, and the teacher, Mrs. Luton. Um, she looked familiar, but I can't place her. She did. I called her hot teacher at first, and then mm-hmm. she became a fucking bitch. Yeah. Sorry. Well, what, is she, what did she say? Get away from me. You give me the this. creeps. Yeah. She was in Black Christmas. Um, Interesting. Mm-hmm. Hotel Oklahoma, no clue what that is. Um, but space is that like Space Odyssey? Space above and beyond, nineteen ninety five through ninety six. I don't know. She was also in Final Destination Five. Oh, maybe they brought her back, called her back, or she could have just played a different character. Yeah, she was in uh, Lady Bird. That was an interesting movie. I skipped on that one. I didn't watch that one. Yeah. With Saoirse Ronan, right? Uh, if that's the girl, then yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the younger girl. Um, she her character honestly annoyed me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, speaking of things, that, that, me, that 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 also had Timothy Chalamet. Yes, right? it did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I I finally watched the new Text Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, the one on Netflix. Yeah, it wasn't good. No, no. I watched it on New Year's Day, so of course I was a little hungover. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there were some broken bones, and then whenever he was going to make the new face, mm-hmm. I was, I, had to, I was like, I'm getting nauseous. It wasn't, it wasn't. I didn't, I didn't really enjoy story, it too much. The, the social was commentary really dumb. points, I didn't really like. Yeah, no. the whole rewritten of it all, like. It like not having the like family a part of it, just like yeah. some grandma who like took care of an orphan. It just didn't. It wasn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like it. It's a little too much uh, uh, liberty there with changing up the story. Sometimes mm-hmm. a story is good, and if you want to redo it, you can redo it. But you know, maybe you just stick with what's already what's good. What's been yeah. Proven. Tried and true. Yes. Yeah. Because as we see, when you do a shot for shot remake of like The Hills Have Eyes, mm-hmm. it's well received. Yeah. Because that was a great remake. So anyways, but to start this film off, we basically get a nice simple thunderstorm Mm -hmm. and our title card coming in. We're getting different flashes Mm -hmm. of of it foreshadowing. It's like the credits going over like the scenes of like a hanging sock monkey and then the fan and then these little airplanes with little, Mm -hmm. uh, what are they called? The little things, the propellers, yeah, going around. So And the fan blowing open his, we can clearly gather that someone's going to France Yeah, um, Mm -hmm. from (laughs) just the first little bit because there's like the poor France. Yeah, and the passport and plane ticket Mm -hmm. and then um, the one of the France books is being like blown to pages of torture. Yeah. And evil. 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 Um, and so we have all of that happening. Um, we have our main person, Alex, is in the bed. And then at this point, um, he hears a voice kind of, right? He hears a woman's voice and say his name. It's mm. Alex, which I believe is clear. Um, Claire's voice, oh. which is just. But I, I mean, thought it was his mom. I was thinking it was clear. Oh. But maybe it could have been his mom. Maybe it could have been his mom. Yeah, I thought she was waking him up. Mm, probably. Um, but and then he he gets up, and then um, we have um, him getting ready and talking with his parents about the trip that he's about to take. Yeah, uh-huh. and he tried to leave the ID tag on or the old luggage tag, and I was like, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Yeah, I don't know. And he was uh, said what something about it being good luck, or else the plane would crash or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And his dad's like, Well, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. 
and, and then it's like and he's like you've got your whole life ahead of you and i was like well actually dad yeah he doesn't no. and mom you just killed him by taking out that luggage she tag. pretty much drinks him it's all mom's it's fault it's all the mom's fault i'm gonna trace it back to mom she actually was this was her way of getting rid to yeah. live a new life what if she cursed a spell on the plane a good idea that they could tie it back to um the original is if they had um it be like a prequel essentially where it's the mom storyline mm. and she's going through all this shit and then she ends up surviving and having a baby boy and then we find out at the end that it's actually alex and uh. then death has because she keeps avoiding death death is comfort alex that would be really cool mm. but and then it just ties Damn. into the first movie Give us but royalties. actually they did do that. Not oh. like that, but they did on the, I think the fifth final destination. It is oh. a prequel and it ties in into the beginning of the first movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen. So totally it, retcon obviously. all of that and do our storyline. Yeah. Ours um, is better. But yeah. So we, then we have, um, all these signs happening essentially just kind of making it seem like something bad is going to happen. Something eerie is going on. Yeah. There's he, like an omnipresent force. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just seems real nervous and stuff. And he mm -hmm. goes to bed because, you know, this is trip happening the next day. Yeah. And he's asleep and there's this like his uh clock flashes from one to one eighty, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. was the flight it's like number. Doing this glitchy thing. Yeah. yeah. And then we're at the airport, mm -hmm. basically. Everybody's getting dropped off, all the students. It's this whole senior uh French I don't know if it was the whole senior class, but it was the whole French class. French class, yeah. Yeah, which was a lot of them. I think it was like 40 students know, or something that like that. that was a lot. Yeah, it's a big class class. It is. Um, well, they did have two teachers, so maybe it was like two, two classes, like 20 and 20. That makes sense. Um, but they are all getting off. We have kind of seeing some of the students that we're going to see throughout the rest of the movie, like Billy, Carter, Terry. Um, Carter being a fucking asshole. An asshole. Uh which he is throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Um, and then we have um, Todd and Todd's brother's dad, like giving them cash mm -hmm. and being like, this is for both of y'all. And he's telling Alex like, Hey, take care of both of them. And that's kind of like our bye bye to the parents. And then we have them, um, I guess getting ready They're in the, what's that called? Terminals or yeah. waiting seating. Yeah. Areas. They're in the terminal and they're at the gate and they're, um, that's Some whenever Todd, dude. Or what? Well, some oh. guy gives him a pamphlet. This oh, is death right. is not the end. That's right. And then the hot teacher comes through and she don't harass my fucking students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but and then we find out that his birthday is the same time as the departure time oh, too, yeah, which right. was like oh oh, and also you know it's, it does make sense like this came in two thousand, but it was such a like I was like the security and like just they were just asking him oh like did you receive any packages and that's it and yeah like, I was like this is definitely pre 9-11 yeah yeah yeah. you can just see the like just the vibes yeah and like i'm sure there was a lot of maybe like the next year like they were like oh <laughs> uh oh like yikes yeah you Aka know what i mean awkward, awkward. yeah uh-huh and maybe that's why final destination 2 didn't come out till two years after I don't yeah know. and they were like of the, keeping it on the ground <laughs> instead of the year <laughs> literally literally um that's like my, we'll get we'll get to that one the second one is like chef's kiss yeah i don't know but um we are what are we doing oh this is i think todd comes up to him too and yeah. he's like um he's like let's go take a shit which is a good point you know because we're on a seven hour flight mm -hmm. and we don't want to do it on the airport or the airplane bathroom because what if a hot girl comes in after us you and know smells our poop which makes sense yeah good call and also i flight. just wouldn't want to poop on an airplane. Mm -hmm. I try to get in and out of those bathrooms as quickly as possible just yeah. because they're so tiny mm -hmm. and everything in there just feels really gross. I usually, I think I've only used the restroom, like peed in the airplane maybe twice. And I've been on a few airplane rides. I just, I try not to just leave my seat. I just try, yeah, to, I like, try to not just sit there. I mean, most of my plane rides have always been like Jewish hours, you know, <laughs> that's sounded like a such thing. Two ish hours. Um, <laughs> But um, never longer than that. So like a seven hour plane ride, I couldn't only imagine. Um, yeah. And then like 13 hour plane rides, because I know that's how long it takes to like get all the way to like the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. Essentially, that's so crazy. Like going from like being here on to plane. Korea and or imagine being like on a, 17. Yeah. And imagine being on a plane that long. To like, 19 that hours. That is so like long. That is. I would go crazy, honestly. Cause I, I, I go crazy enough. I think the longest enough. I've been is nine. I, and the way that I want to go overseas is just to like travel and stuff. But I'm just like... 
I just, <laughs> I just, the the thought of being up in the sky that long gives me like cringe. Gives Eventually, me, like, I feel like I don't even notice anymore that you're up there. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I just take so much um, like Benadryl mm-hmm. or sleeping medication <laughs> that you just stay asleep. So I am asleep the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Or you just know. watch movies and they're all like two and a half hours long or something. So like a three, four movies and mm-hmm. you're there. Mm-hmm. Get a marathon, Final Destination, one, two, three, four, and five. There you go. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, but yeah, they go they go to the bathroom. We've already seen like a shot of the plane. It looks sketch. It does. AF mm-hmm. just through the window. It's like busted. Yeah. It, it looks like it's gotten in a few like bumps and things. Already. Some birds out of the sky or something. The, the movie's really building up on you feeling like we don't trust this plane. Yeah. It looked not mm-hmm. safe. Mm-hmm. And they're going to go poop though. And of course, John Denver is playing. Really, John Denver is the culprit. John Denver killed all of them. He really is them. because he comes in throughout the whole film. Yeah. Um. And so they like bought the whole catalog. They were like, "Well, let's make use of this." And yep. um. So well, we, really, they only bought Colo- Colorado oh, right. Rocky Mountain High. That's right. It was Rocky the same Mountain one. Rocky Mountain High. Um. And they uh are obviously taking care of their stuff, the business. And then as that song comes on, he is having the realization like this is an artist who died in a plane crash. Mm-hmm. Um. Mr. John Denver. And so we then get them going back out of that. They're getting onto the plane. They're getting their seats. Um, and at that point. We see 666 on the luggage cart oh, yeah. beneath him. We do. And we also see that like the, even the door looks like it looks like it could just pop open mm-hmm. because it was so damaged. too. Yeah. So it was just like, no. Nothing was like up to code. No, it seems like. not at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so we have him getting to see. But as he's doing that, um. The two girls, uh, I don't remember their names, but they're like supposed to be the hot popular girls. They yeah. come and ask him to switch seats with them. I'm going to refer to them as Monica and Rachel because mm. in the newspaper clipping that he that finds with Monica the, and Rachel? No, it's, oh. it's like Claire and no, mm-hmm. it's not. It's like Blair. No, nope. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. That's something. Yeah. But in that newspaper clipping where um, it's describing Miss Newton, mm-hmm. Luton, what's her name? Miss Luton. Luton's death. Mm-hmm. Um, it says memorial like scholarship fund set up for those two and I had yeah. a picture of them. Mm-hmm. But it looked like in my brain, I was like, Monica and Rachel. Monica like, just and out Rachel. of the corner of my eye because I was reading the top. Yeah. And then so but to me, it's in, Monica and Rachel. It is. It's a blonde and a brunette. And a brunette. Mm-hmm. And then they are at, they end up getting him to switch seats with them, even to, though Todd's like kind of signing him to not to. And so he goes up, sits next to Todd, and that's whenever he notices that the little uh, his tray tr- table, yeah, the is thing is broken. broken. Um, Which is already you're supposed to have your tray tables locked and in the upright position. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what he was doing going for that, anyways. Um, and then he's getting a glimpse of like. The little pamphlet that tells you, like, in case of an emergency kind of situation. Um, we're still getting, like, all of these little um, weird... He's looking at things, and things just seem off. And we have Todd next to him being like, well, now all I can do is watch Stuart Little or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, which I was like, it's a great film. Did he say Stuart Little? I have no clue. It was clue. Stuart Little. I yeah, think yeah. I missed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> so, was saying, yeah, he was He was like, man, instead of sitting sit next to some Little. hot girls, I would now have to like watch Stuart Little or something <laughs> like that. Um, and then that's whenever they start taking off. Stuart Little was pre-2000? I think so. It was like a 99 maybe. Mm. Yeah. That's a good film. It had to be relevant for them to say. And it was in New York. S- mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, was it? I'm pretty uh, sure. Just, yeah. It I think like it does New too. York. Yeah. Um, Some metropolitan area. <laughs> and so um, we do have them lifting off. I think after Billy even just had managed to get on the plane, he was a little late. And then uh, that's whenever we're in the sky already. And from the get go, it kind of happens pretty fast. We have them yeah. getting some turbulence and then everybody thinks like, oh, we're OK. Like, oh. <laughs> but then, nah, it starts going. Off, and I was like, off that is radar. not yeah. regular. Turbulence. Yeah, no, no. And then everything starts like kind of exploding, essentially. Um, we have plane the big catches fire. I think plane does the fire wing the... like rip off or something. Yeah, and that's, that's what why happens. the. Oh, probably from the explosion. Yeah. And then there's like a gaping hole in the suck plane. Some people out. Suck some people out. Miss Luton is hanging on to one of the students trying to keep her from going out of the thing. But yeah. she doesn't. Or she's trying to reach for her, but she doesn't quite get her hand. Mm-hmm. And she gets sucked out. And then really fast after that, it's kind of like a chain reaction. We have like an explosion of like going and all the way to the back. Like, and then it just all explodes. 
and everybody's engulfed in flames. Yeah. Yeah. Like so there's no surviving. No that. surviving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which really sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there is a small possibility to survive a plane crash. If um, it like maybe went down or like something. Especially but everything considering just, like, they were still so close up. to land mm-hmm. and or like to the ground. Their altitude wasn't that high yet. Mm-hmm. And that they were still um, they were above water. I feel yeah. like water landings are one of the more like safer options because your seats a flotation device mm-hmm. and everything like that. And there's typically life vest. Depends on where in the water. They're in a bay or wherever they were because they were so pretty close. That's that's fine. But yeah. like imagine me in the middle of the ocean. And a shark gets death. you. That's, that's, and Jaws, I would 2. rather 0. I would rather have if it was like choosing over like mountains or like a forest or something. I would rather crash there. And have a maybe chance of survival and oh, foraging yeah. and being there. Find fresh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then hopefully. also like being on land as opposed to like crashing in the middle of the ocean because then you're pretty much fucked. Yeah. Because there's nothing you're you can die do. You're going to die of dehydration. If the if animals don't else. get you or like the seawater, the sun, like, yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can I imagine? <gasps> That's so scary. Scary. No, and starting this movie too, honestly, I was sitting there and I kind of had like a mini crisis. I kind of had like an existential moment because I was like, my mortality like was like, like flashing before my eyes and I was just like oh my god like I'm gonna die I'm gonna die one day yeah like I'm not gonna be here this is this is it this is one life and I'm thinking like I'm not gonna be here forever and that's really like my I brain wanna... thought that during Todd's little speech saying that to- oh yeah yeah yeah, like yeah we wake up and we don't with like every hour scheduled in our afternoon but none of it is guaranteed kind yeah of thing and I was like oh fuck it's really morbid, <laughs> it you know, was. And, it, like, ah! and you want to get to a place where you're like, all right, I accept it. Like, you know, we're going to die. It's OK. But no, um, I can't. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a little scary. That's frightening. That's like, whoa. I think I mean, I've mentioned it every time I'm in a movie theater. I don't even think it's like, oh, yeah. If like every, it doesn't necessarily happen when I'm watching a movie every time. But mm-hmm. every time I'm in, I'm in a movie theater, it does. It could be the happiest film. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, at some point during the film, I become like overwhelmingly aware of the fact that I'm going to die. Oh, wow. I don't know. Why. And it's just like, mm, and I have to just like. You have to think it away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. It's crazy. It it's is. It's wild. I like. Stupid brains. Sometimes <laughs> lose sleep thinking about that. I used to as a kid. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. I had the most like petrifying fear of death. Yeah. And my family dying. Yeah. And people that you care about. Oh, yeah. It was really bad. <sighs> Which they kind of talk about at the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we're um, kicking things off because we come back to real life. That was all a premonition. He was like having some sort of dream. He basically wakes up in the middle of everything he just saw. And the hot girl's asking him, hey, can we switch seats with you? Because mm-hmm. we really want to sit together. And he's like, what? Mm-hmm. And he's like, this is rightfully weird. so which he goes and goes to up there he's like yeah sure he goes and he as soon as he's looking over at the seat that he's supposed to take he notices the exact same thing the little tray thing is broken and at this point it doesn't take much he's freaking out already he's like you guys the plane is gonna explode yeah yeah and, um you know obviously if someone started yelling that on my plane i'm off i would get off too and i'd be like you know what I don't care if you're just playing a joke. Uh, it's a hoax. But I'm going to not uh, risk it. I'll I'll take a bus. Yep. I'm canceling the whole trip. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I'm not even getting on the next flight out. Nope. Like that's already like a We're sign. Home. We can go home. This is wrong. Yep. We, uh, we will take this trip once I forget about this experience. Exactly. Um, yeah. He gets off. Um, I, at this point, I didn't know any of their names. So then I was like, poop guy follows, which is Todd. Todd. We have Carter getting thrown off because he was the one who picked the fight with him. Yeah, he said we dickhead have, in his girlfriend weird cute girl and uh which was clear Claire, which i'm like for the life <laughs> of me why couldn't they just call her claire claire i thought it was uh, claire at first me, and i thought i was just hearing like a, i thought it was like a jersey accent or something no it's clear <laughs> like literally clear yeah, because her name is rivers so clear, clear rivers. rivers yeah it's that's the dumbest. horrible it's, like, it's horrible just call her claire rivers claire we rivers. get it yeah. it's still punny you don't have to be so like on the nose of clear rivers. i would change my name Honestly, I just, it bergs me. It bergs me. Bergs. It bergs me. It makes me feel just like, like, 
Um, and so we have them all getting kicked off the plane. Um, and Miss Luton follows with the other teacher as well. We have them coming off the plane. They're all in their like whatever uh, waiting gate area. Mm-hmm. We have Billy uh, can't get on because they are not letting anyone else on the plane. And the teachers have to decide amongst themselves like only one teacher can go right now. And Miss Luton was going to go, but then that teacher is like, you know what? No. Or she tells him, like, you're good with the French stuff. You know it better. So you go ahead and go yeah, with them. The whole time he was speaking in French. Mm-hmm. So. And I'm, and that really ties in with her. I feel like emotionally wrecked because he was like, you go. And she was very insistent, like, no, you go and I'll yeah. catch up later. And I feel like she probably later was like, I killed that man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, and she, yeah, because she does say that. She mm-hmm. says something about her kind of sending him to his death. Mm hmm and caused she forced him to get on the plane it was like no no, you didn't you did it but and it's not her fault but i mean it's very understandable how she can feel like the like the survivor's guilt in that essence oh Mm -hmm. definitely and i mean of course she couldn't have actually known that that was really gonna happen Mm -hmm. yeah because i mean even if i did hear it and choose to get off i don't know if i would still be like well that plane's definitely gonna blow up yeah (laughs) like i would still be like okay, i'd be like it's your decision but you can safe. go yeah as opposed to being like no don't go i believe this kid yeah exactly rogue 23 That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon. R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. You ready to go back in? Okay. I think my anxiety is a little high, maybe from watching it. Mm. Because oh, this it was what, really, ex- it, it, I feel that too. I, I felt still like to that. this day won't get in a fucking tanning bed from the third one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then I also because of the third one, I'm still and I can't drive anytime I see a truck carrying anything. Oh yeah, I'm I like switch lanes. no, <laughs> especially if it's logs. Yeah, I'm like get the fuck out of my way. Or like things that carry like the big cinder block things mm-hmm. or like construction parts. I'm like, uh, even if it looks secure, I'm just like I'll just get out the yeah. way because you never know. Also sitting I, every time I see a nail gun, I also mm-hmm. the third one was my favorite mm-hmm. at, at mm-hmm. growing up, anyways. Yeah, and so then like the nail gun scene at the end of the yeah. third one where they're like oh, <laughs> trying to reenact <laughs> it. And then it's like, boop, boop. yeah. I'm like, Ooh. and then I get that intrusive thought that's like, you try it. <laughs> it doesn't hurt I'm that like, bad. I can't. Ooh, it's a nail gun. You know, I Those kind of, I've always, I kind of always wanted to do the thing. Um, Are you stable your hand? No. Oh. Where you like step on a nail and you let a, let a nail go through your foot? Because some part of me, for some I've reason, doesn't think that it hurts that bad. Oh, it does. Like how bad? I've had a rusty nail go like halfway through my foot. How bad was that? I mean, I was young and I have a pretty high pain tolerance. So I think I was just, I think I was not Ow. happy. Yeah. Were yeah. you in tears crying? Or you're just like, oh, that just really hurts. Can y'all take it out? I probably was crying. Yeah. Man. I but just, then, for some reason, when I see it in movies, like I know it, like, I just don't know. I just feel like, <laughs> I just, I just want to know what that feeling feels like, but without feeling the pain, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I just want to feel it go through. But not feel pain. Interesting. You know what I mean? Yes. Like I am also s- intrigued now. <laughs> it didn't go all the way through the top of my foot. Yeah. So I don't know the true feeling. Know. And then it just makes me feel like, like your foot's made out of jello, even though I know I had it's to get not, a tetanus but, shot after. Yeah. Otherwise, you die. Yeah. You could die. Lockjaw. Ooh. Anytime um, my jaw started hurting that night because mm-hmm. my mom told me about lockjaw at that point in time, and I was like still pretty young. Yeah. And then I was like, 
Oh, so my got, brain spiraled in yeah. like every single time. I'm I was dying. like, Mom, my jaw's feeling a little tight. And that's she was how like, I felt no. about that's how I felt about <laughs> meningitis. Anytime I had kind of like a headache that kind of came back here, I'd be like, Oh my god, I got meningitis. I had a meningitis. I'm gonna die in twenty four twenty four hours. Yeah. Yeah. I had to that's go scary. get a spinal tap. Jeez. Bada ding doom boom. So we're all in the gate waiting area and that's whenever Alex is kinda of talking about like what he saw, he's telling, because Miss uh, Luton, she's like, what did you see? What, what's going on? And he said, well, I saw like a dream that the plane was crashing and we all died. Carter is still kind of being a dick about it. Um, and he's, they get up into a, they get into a fist fight. Yeah. Um, and like we had already found out they were only going to be three hours later. Yeah. yeah they were yeah. just going to take the next flight, mm-hmm. which is like, Carter, why the fuck are you acting like this? Yeah, just calm he's the, a hot head. Calm the fuck down. He's a hot head. Terry's mm-hmm. like blaming him yeah. and stuff. And then, yeah, that's why Carter's like, they start fighting. And it's yeah. just like, yo, Alex potentially just saved your lives. You don't even fucking know. Yeah. Yeah. And then sure enough. But they're they're all teenagers, um, even though they're like way older than teenagers. <laughs> um, and they really do. But sure enough, we have Billy looking out of the... um window as the plane is taking off and it just explodes in the sky Mm -hmm. and which sends a shockwave and all the glass breaks through the windows and the police immediately start getting off the two boys and just like call it in call it in and run off um and so we have them all kind of looking at i wondered do mm -hmm. you think that the um do you think it would have actually shattered the I don't think glass. so. Okay, yeah, I didn't think I so. I think either. that was a bit dramatic. Airport glass. Yeah, it was kind of far away. It was a bit away, and, and I then f- I imagine that glass is like, you know, like that bulletproof Thick. shit. Uh huh. Yeah. Thick. Um, I don't know, some type of commercial glass at least, but um, I think that was a little bit dramatic, and I think it was just more for us to like be like, oh my god. But obviously, they're all looking at Alex like, geez, okay, that's weird. What the fuck's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have, um, they're obviously taken in for questioning. Yeah. They, they get taken into the like waiting areas. They're waiting for the parents to come pick them up and they're getting interrogated by the FBI because it's obviously pretty weird that Alex says the plane's going to blow up. And then what happens? Plane blows up. Yeah, you know? exactly. So he's trying to figure out why they got off the plane and everyone's just saying, well, it's because Alex, you know, the fight and then they're asking the individual students and then they're asking clear like why did you get off and she's like well i just i saw him and what he was saying and i believed him yeah um exactly because she was just like she be- truly believed like the fear that he had in his eyes and this is where we get those two fbi agents that should have like i guess were originally supposed to be Mulder and scully mm-hmm. but we get shrek and other dude yeah shrek is the not main <laughs> investigator but obviously i only remember his name yeah, because it's I didn't even remember the Shrek name. Honestly, I don't oh. even think I've heard. Yeah, his name was that. Shrek. Shrek, Agent Shrek. <laughs> and I was like, eh, and funny. I think Shrek came out the following year. Yeah, um, and so we have um, all the parents coming in finally, um, but it's a little sad moment because Clear has no one come in for her. I know. I was like, oh mm-hmm. man, no parents for her. Yeah, <laughs> this is really sad. And we have them dropping. Uh, Clear went and took a ride with Alex and his parents. I guess they might live close to each other, probably a street or something over. And so she gets dropped off, which is also really weird. Cause she's like, thank you. And then kind of lingers there like at the door and she's just like, and then closes it. I was yeah. like, she's so awkward. She, she um, is. Yeah. And she did a great job of playing that. Mm-hmm. And then we have him at home with his parents. Um, and he kind of like, he's crying into his mom's arms. We then have them all asleep, but he's not asleep. He's listening and watching to the news of describing, you know, I'm assuming he probably hadn't slept all night and this has got to be like the 5 a.m. news or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Describing you know? the plane crash mm-hmm. and saying, you know, that they've been searching all night, but it's likely that there are no survivors, survivors yeah. other than the six people who departed or and seven. Even the news mentions it, but they're like, there are no details as to why or what happened and what whatever on why they departed and yeah so, um we do have the lightning striking outside and there's a storm and he goes oh, and even looks through with the, the water and stuff they were mm-hmm. talking about how there was like oil fires on mm-hmm. the water too mm-hmm. so that's really scary if you, yeah. even if you landed in the water you just sit there and burn yeah <laughs> i mean i guess you could go under the water and swim till there's no fire and then get but out still. but hope you hope it's not like hope you can hold your breath that long <laughs> yeah yeah so. and i mean even in the moment too like who knows what you know what to do in that moment you know what i mean fight i think i flight. would almost rather die just take me out now yeah <laughs> i don't so, want to struggle because I, I also wouldn't want to be 
in the water in the mm-hmm. dark. Yeah, that's really scary. Because that's really scary. Mm-hmm. Especially not being able to see what's underneath you. Nope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I went snorkeling once and I had a panic attack. Mm, yeah. I've... After seeing the little world that was down there and I was like, nope. This is scary. Yeah. My body was like, uh-uh. And I've then been... the water was cold too. And so then I was just like, I, I hyperventilated. How was the waves <laughs> for you? Was it chill? In the water mm-hmm. or on the boat? In the water. In the water. In I the guess water. both. I don't know. In the water, it was okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't notice too much because like once you have your head down, I got off at the second stop and actually snorkeled. Mm-hmm. But whenever um, you're in the water, you're like swimming mm-hmm. and you don't really notice. Yeah. But when you're on the boat and stuff and it's yeah. just sitting there and like so then whenever I got like only two minutes in or something, the first round I had to go sit at the boat for a long time. Yeah. And I got kind of seasick. Yeah. No, I feel that. I've been snorkeling before, like in the water off of Miami, Miami, the Keys areas over there in Florida. And like going down there, the one, the water was really like strong that day, oh, choppy. choppy. And so like I was just like having a hard time, like keeping my Even. bearings, you uh-huh. know. But so that was one thing. But like, yeah, like being in the ocean and like literally looking all around you and like Terrifying. it's like you can only see so far and everything's just blue. Everything's just like blue and then it's just like the same thing. But then you see the fish around you and it's really like, it's it's a little scary. It is. Yeah. And I saw a barracuda and it looked so scary because it was just there like still, so still in the water. I was like, how is it even still? And it was just sitting there waiting for something to go by. And I was like, I'm going to stay over here. Yeah. There's at one point people were like, there's an eel over here. And I was like, (laughs) I think the fuck not. Yeah. I was like running away. Um, Also put sunscreen on your butt whenever you snorkel because Mm. I have a really lovely butt sunburn. That's Um, not cute. You can't sit on those. (laughs) It's not. It hurt. Um, But anyways, poor Alex having to watch the news. Mm -hmm. And then he, you know, is getting that weird feeling like something's not right. We mm-hmm. can tell because he gets up, he goes, looks out the window. Yeah. Lightning strikes right outside his house. And then we flash to 39 days later. Yeah. And we're having like a memorial service at the school. They're unveiling um, this statue that's supposed to represent, you know, the uh, the students and the teachers that passed away. Um, kind of like a remembrance thing. That's what, that's what a memorial is. And they're all there about to pass some like flowers. But we do see some like weird like head, um, like some gazes from like Todd's dad to um alex and then alex looking at claire clear um and (laughs) then we have um alex looking at the fbi agents exactly everybody's just looking at each other yeah and we do have them finally um i think we do have some dialogue between some of the teachers and miss luton and then she's kind of like she's obviously really messed up about the whole experience and um, that's whenever we do have them all getting up to go lay flowers up by the statue. Which it was an eagle. Did that yeah. not feel in poor taste? Uh, I don't know because of like how they fly. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like they're gonna, their souls are gonna take flight when they die. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It felt like a little bit. I was like, ooh, we could have picked a little something too on else. The nose. Like a raccoon. Yeah. Not I don't kidding. know. Trash panda. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. But maybe you're right. An eagle is not the best choice. Maybe something that stays on the ground. Yeah. Like but maybe, maybe like were a, they the eagles? No, I don't know, right? It mm-hmm. looked like a little like lumberjack on that mm. little mug she had or like a George mm. Washington Oh, that's type. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with those powder wigs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't but know. Yeah, I agree Anyways. with you. You know what? <laughs> I agree with you. And Carter's being an asshole. Still a butthole and to Alex, which they happen to be in line right next to each other. He's like, I'm never going to die. Yeah. He's like, I he's die like, on my own terms or something like that. You are, bud. Um, and then fucking Billy comes up and he was like, mm-hmm. d- d- <laughs> I couldn't believe he's this. He's asking him <laughs> questions essentially because he thinks Alex is like a, um, he can see the future. Yeah. Yeah. He's Which, psychic. It, Billy like seems to actually believe him. Yeah. Kind of. Cause mm-hmm. he was like, well, tell me. I, he says, I took my driver's test today, got a 70, which is like the low score you can get, but I still passed. Yeah. And then. He says, and at the end of it, the guy turns to me and says, young man, you're going to die at a very young age. And it's like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. What, your driver's test guy said that to you? Yeah, probably because of his reckless driving. Um, oh, that makes yeah. so much more sense. I was th- thinking that this was a like, Someone you know, driver's psychic. test person yeah. by day and then like psychic yeah. tarot reader witchy by night. It could still very well be. <laughs> but no, I think that just had to be in reference that to like because sense. of his poor uh, score. <laughs> 
I'm and so he's so a dumb. really bad driver. No, you're not. <laughs> and so that's whenever um, we do have, have after that, he's like trying to, you know, am I going to, if I ask out what's her name, you know, will she go out with me? And then Alex is just telling them like, not now, not ever, like just leave me alone. Like yeah. I'm not going to do that. And um, we do have him then finally going up to the little statue of the Eagle and Todd goes up there with him. And that's whenever they're talking kind of to try and not seem like they're talking to each other because as Todd is mentioning, uh, his dad still feels a little bit weird about Alex um, because his brother died in that plane crash as well. Um, And I guess, uh, you know, Todd's dad is just like, he's a witch. He's a witch. Yeah. (laughs) Essentially. Yeah. I don't know what it is. He saw like he, People have a fear of the unknown. Yeah. And yeah. his dad definitely embodied that. Mm-hmm. And we also got here the interaction between Lou the teacher. and saying that, yeah, mm-hmm. you scare the hell out of me, basically. And it's like, okay, maybe just everyone's sitting here blaming him, basically, yeah. until Clear walks up, hands him the rose, which I was like, Yeah, she's Girl. like, I owe you the rose because you say, whenever. I'm like, there is a time and place. Maybe you don't do that in front of everybody. Everyone, I was like, maybe just put the rose on the pile. Like yeah. everyone else. <laughs> That's a- and just thank the boy. Yeah. Yeah. Seemed a little weird, but whatever. Because it's just really, I mean, you're still paying your respects. They still died. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. They still died. You're alive. Great. Mm-hmm. You can tell him that you're thankful for him, but don't mm-hmm. give him the rose. That's fucking weird. Um, and I love when the boys are talking as well. And even, and, uh, Alex is like, hey, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but like, I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like the no homo before yeah. no homo. Yeah. If we have, if we keep our socks on. Yeah. And so uh, that's whenever, um, like you said, to clear had gave him the flower. And um, we do have Todd giving a speech. Um, this the, is that really sad poem mm-hmm, we mentioned earlier. That made you feel existential about life and your mortality. And then we get him going to the bathroom. Yeah. Back at his uh, house. It's nighttime. He's obviously getting ready for poor bed, it seems like. And already we're getting some spooky vibes. It seems like something's off. Um, yeah. There's a wind blowing through the window. Mm-hmm. It closes the door mm-hmm. which no we don't do doors closing on their own that's yeah. scary yeah um and then he's like what was he doing oh he went to go to the bathroom yeah he's classic gonna, todd he, yep he's <laughs> using the restroom like he usually does but then we do see like that water starts dripping or leaking out of the toilet area mm-hmm. um so we're kind of getting this like setup of like something something's brewing something bad is about to happen and we flash to alex mm-hmm. doing a bunch of shady ass looking research yeah which I was like, boy, this is making you look suspicious as hell. The FBI is already like kind of looking in on you. And then you've got like this pile of plane crash books. Yeah. And stuff. And things it's like, that Ooh. really make him seem sketchy. Yeah. Uh, but he's just trying to understand like how and why and um, what in the world and, could have happened. And understand why he's having that. He had that premonition, you know. Yeah. Um, And then he's kind of getting fed up with what he's I guess he's like at a dead end or something. So he's like, I'm going to look at some porn. And he brings out his little porn magazine. Yeah. And he's trying to look at it, um, but it cuts back to Todd, and we have Todd in his restroom, and he's uh, sha- dry trying to shaving. he's trying to dry shave, and he ends up immediately cutting his nicking his neck. And I was like, and, maybe don't dry shave. Don't yeah, <laughs> with a very sharp blade, and then after doing that, he starts trimming his nose hairs. So with the with some scissors. So at every moment, you think like this man is about to like trip and like stab himself, or yeah. he's gonna cut his slice his neck. Because um, we're also seeing this weird like gray mass behind him mm-hmm. in the mirror, and he even sees it. Yeah. And it's like a dark like, figure. Ugh. It's death. Yeah. But we also, yeah, I, I I don't know how much I cared for it. I'm glad that I know in like in the second and third one, they don't necessarily do a shadow figure like yeah. that. It's just like a wind or like a feeling that, you know, the, the, that uh, something's about to happen. That the actors are really good at portraying of like, it's almost like Spidey senses are yeah. like, whoa, you know? And spidey senses yeah, are they're tingling. Te- uh-huh. And so, um, that's- yeah, because this made it feel very supernatural. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which, again, it, it, that it, it, blob, that mass, mm-hmm. very fitting for X Files. You're right. That would have yeah. made perfect sense. You're right. So. It does feel like it's on par like that. Yeah. Or like with like Charm. Do you remember Charm? Yeah. Like how like the villains would be kind of like shadows like that or something. Mm hmm. Yes, um, definitely. And so we have all of this stuff happening. We think he's about to die, but he doesn't. It's a little bit of a fake out because then we have him taking, which I don't well, know. And we also get the, seems like it's going to be an electrocution. Oh, with that's the right. Boombox. He does. And, and he, John Diver plays on yeah. it. Yeah. And so he's like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Unplugs that. 
and it just he narrowly missed the water mm-hmm. like with the connection happening so he could have gotten electrocuted yeah and then we do have um the we flash back to <sighs> flashback to what's his face yeah alex at this time point an owl like slams into his window which was like mm-hmm. nope that's scary owls are typically not, not a gonna, good sign yeah not yeah. a good sign uh, kind of a bad omen and then this his magazine like gets shredded by the fan mm-hmm. and a little piece falls and it says Todd Todd and we cut back to Todd and he's trying to take some clothes off of a clothesline that they for some reason put in their restroom yeah uh, and I so mean, I guess I like I've hung my swimsuit up over the tub before I mean I get that but like never put a wire yeah. like in the middle of the no, room yeah, just put it on the that rack. seems like a problem yeah. like waiting to happen <laughs> like, uh, like exactly like this yeah and so <laughs> Immediately Todd slips and he ends up falling into the tub and that wire gets wrapped around his neck. But ha- the like, you know, part that's still hanging up at the top is still at the top hanging around what seems to be the, the shower head or something up there. And he's something choking. strong enough to hold his whole he body is choking. And he's and it's getting tighter and tighter as he's like trying to get away, trying to grab like the scissors that are on the kitchen sink. And of course, his um, feet are wet because he slipped into yeah. the tub. Yeah. So, and so he can't get his footing. Good traction. No. Yeah. And it's freaking out. And essentially, it seems to me very supernatural at this point, too, because that string is just getting like tighter more yeah. and more. Um, because also we do see that it's all making it seem and look as though he is killing he's killed himself it's yes. suicide because then that water recedes uh-huh. and everything goes back as he's dying uh, death accomplishes its goal and we have like uh, you know in the same time Alex is like trying to run up to the house and so but by the time he gets there it's a little too late because we do already see the fire uh, the, the police flashing lights mm-hmm. everyone there yeah mm-hmm. ambulance and he's being brought out in a body bag uh, not before clear can be he can spot clear and he's like what are you doing here and she's like get out of here alex yeah <laughs> and he's right i'm and like he's like what are you doing here yeah and i mean like get out of where like he's he's like in the middle of the road he's like everybody sees him seen. yeah yeah it would look even weirder if he just starts running dad um, comes up to him too like dad's already seen him yeah and dad and, comes up to him to deliver a message because alex is like what, what's happened you know and he's like isn't obvious like he killed himself because you allowed his brother to die or something he's, yeah he said yeah. it was it was Alex's fault for causing Todd so much guilt that he, and so then he yeah. took his own life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which, stupid, but okay. Yeah. Um, I'm like, Dad is you... grieving though, so, yeah. you know, we'll give him a pass. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, we do have then, um, the next day he's next going day, yeah. back home, I mm-hmm. guess, or he's just taking another walk, but he goes to Clear's house mm-hmm. and she's like welding. So she's I guess on she's another like level, man. Mm-hmm. And, um, She's pointing out the obvious, basically saying it's weird that the FBI was there investigating last night. She was like, as far as I know, the FBI doesn't investigate teen suicides. Yeah. Um, so clearly they think something else is something going else on is here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was where I was like, yeah, because Agent and Mulder and Scully weren't really FBI. They were like men in black. Oh, yeah. yeah basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And so we do have them talking and clears like on a whole nother level of just like um weird girl vibes i thought she she was like i feel i was like damn is she hitting on him with she, his sculpture right now she was yeah but like in a very intellectual way it was i was like mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. she's coming on very strong I honestly still feel you yeah she's coming on very strong <laughs> she was and then she's even and then it kind of went very deep because she's like we've been in the same grade for like all these years and we've never said in a word to each other and and all this stuff but she's yeah, yeah. like you said laying it on thick but in that moment i i could feel what you were feeling and mm-hmm. I can still feel you. So something is still wrong. Yeah. Um, and so he's trying to explain to her, um, I guess what he's feeling and how it's going and um, basically how he thinks that death is still after them, um, which essentially it is. And um, he was like, I don't think he completed suicide. And mm-hmm. she was like, I wish I, he says like, I wish, I wish we, we could, could ask him. him. And she's like, well, let's, well, let's ask. Know. <laughs> yeah, which and is I was so like, weird too, because I'm just like, girl, clear. You're, you're, you're a whole like. Yeah. Because then they start breaking into the like, morgue. Oh, are they gonna break into a morgue? They do. And a more mortu- funeral home. Yeah, mortuary. They do. They do. But it's the way that whenever they're breaking into, she's like, oh my god, that's such a rush. Yeah, no, I, I love like, doing bad things. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, that's <laughs> that's a sign of someone who's like about to do like criminal life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um. 
we do have them whatever breaking in they get into the whatever that room is yeah uh, embalming room yeah, yeah that yeah. sounds right and so that's whenever they're in there looking at todd's body and then <laughs> tony todd comes up from the shadows yeah as, um, and todd's the body like yeah oh that's his right arm. it does do this like post-mortem like a little f- flippity flip yeah um and that's whenever he's alex is asking the mortician like what why do you do that and the mortician is like you know the chemicals that we're putting in his body that's all um it's just essentially like even like um i know after some people die like um their nerve endings still are working so like mm-hmm. people's bodies can twitch still yeah or move or whatever um and so that's whenever the, alex is just asking the mortician questions and the mortician is laughing because um, I don't know how it starts off, but the mortician's laughing because he's like, you think you can like, uh, you know, defeat d- uh, death design. Yeah. He says in death, there are no accidents, no like mishaps, no, mm-hmm. nothing like that. No escapes is basically yeah. what it, he ends that phrase with. And he was like, you know, anything that happens like airplanes, we walk out of death has a new design for all of you. And you just have to figure out how and when, it's coming at you mm-hmm. and it's, it's a really kind of nice speech. Yeah. And, and nowhere does he say like, and this is how you can beat it. And this is how you win. Like he's just essentially saying like, you're going to die. I mean, that's it. Clearly mm-hmm. you got out of it and it's still coming for you mm-hmm. because homeboy's mm-hmm. dead. Yeah. And because they were saying that they were saying like, what are these cuts on his fingers? Oh yeah, that's right. And they were mini lacerations. The, cu- from- the cuticles were like trying to, you know, yeah, break from through trying to get string. through the cord, which mm-hmm. and then he was like, you know, well, that means he didn't kill himself. And I was like, well, I some people like- can still try to kill themselves. And then he was like second. But we know that he did it. Yeah. 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 Um, and so that's whenever we do have them figuring out okay um or he kind of has an epiphany like all i have to do is figure out death's design and we'll beat it and then they end up leaving um yeah. it's pretty much it that we have with mr um tony todd and then we do and he have, says i'll see you soon oh that's right it's very creepy but yeah, he's like you're gonna die yeah and so we do have them talking i guess it's the next day i don't know how because it seemed like it was nighttime when they busted up in there but it's daylight they're at this little cafe and they're talking he's trying to tell clear like you know um I can, as long as I pay attention to the signs and like, you know, he I tells can, her about the mm-hmm, newspaper clipping. I can figure it out. And yeah. then she kind of mocks him. She, does. she was like, mm-hmm. oh, so I'm having this coffee. So see, I'm going to yeah. see for coffee, going to like die because, you know, her name's clear. Starts with a C. Yeah. Coffee. She's, like that. she's patronizing him. Yeah. And she's basically saying like, you know, you're going to go crazy if you try to look at the signs and try to figure out your death. She's like, we are alive and like, that's it. Like, you know, yeah. and that's it. That's, you know, she doesn't, she's pretty much what I feel like most of us are usually just like, you know, not facing death or thinking about it. And yeah. She's basically trying to ignore it. But then he does see this bus pass through like the reflection of the window, but there's premonition. no premonition, but there's no bus on the other side so yeah. obviously it's a vision yeah and we're like oh mm-hmm. and so that's whenever he gets up and he's like uh saying like basically you can believe me or not but i'm gonna figure this out and i'm gonna you know and then he almost gets hit by a bus at that point right that's at later that's later yeah. my bad um he's this about- is where carter is driving past oh that's right pulls that dickhead move because he sees them there drinking coffee and then he and he's almost like, hits i have to billy. get into this like i'm gonna yeah. put my nose and everything yeah almost takes out billy and causes like a three car pile up mm-hmm. almost turns around gets out of his car and of course it's him and terry and then it, you know miss luton has to walk out at that They're point all as there. well yeah. everyone's there billy after he got himself up mm-hmm. off the pavement yeah you know and Terry's basically saying like I'm over this I want to live my life like you know that's that's just what I'm going to do now this isn't going to be the most important moment in my life she's like they're dead I'm not and then she walks into the road and it's a Regina George moment it is she gets struck by that bus but so hard that that bus blood comes out yeah Mm -hmm. and it goes all over Miss Luton and the kids and they're all like what the fuck Yeah. yeah that bus was going way too fast for that kind of road probably to have mm-hmm. like had that amount of impact on her but it's a whole bus too that's a lot of momentum hitting you that's true but i feel like it had to be going at least like 50 miles an hour mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. that seemed like if you have a little it should cafe, have been like a 30 or yeah, 20 area 30 mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. what i was thinking yeah and i don't know if 30 would have done it but we needed the blood and guts yeah um and so they're Maybe all the brakes like were out on it like in final speed. destination three. Oh yeah 
when he's sitting at the drive through I get scared at drive throughs with a hill behind me. By the time we get through this uh, episode, we'll have have recapped all the deaths from episode th- from <laughs> Final Destination Three as well. It is it's true, um, and uh, it also gave like. Um, that speed movie uh, with Sandra Bullock whenever the brakes are cut off on the have you ever seen that on I the, don't think on so. the bus so yeah it's like mm. a public bus and someone puts a bomb on it <gasps> and like they have to keep the bus going over 80 miles per hour or else it blows up Ooh. it's way too fast obviously for any bus have I seen that um, it's a really good movie if you watch it it's not a scary movie maybe really, I've per just se. heard the plot it's like of a it. thriller-ish movie oh uh, it's pretty good it's got um, Anthony Hopkins he's the villain oh. uh, Mr. Hannibal oh. Lecter yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and cool. Keanu Reeves Oh, nice. Him and Sandra are the main two people. Um, But we do have... um, Oh, where we? Oh, where we? Oh, yeah. Girl, homegirl's dead, and yeah. so that's whenever we're watching the news again that night, I guess. And it it's shows go, it going how over. the explosion mm-hmm. happened. Oh, that's right. The and explanation it, for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so basically, he can see the trajectory and mm-hmm. like you know combine that with his mind of you know his memory, his vision, and mm-hmm. see how the explosion would have hit them, and basically see the order that they would have died in on the plane. And he puts two and two together that that's how the people in real life are dying. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because he was like, Todd went first and he would have been the first because it was by his seat that it exploded. Yeah. And then he said Terry would have been the next in line from the six who are still alive. And then seven. next it was uh, Mrs. Miss Lewin. Lewin. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so, of course, we flashed to her house. She's inside, you know, moving away now, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and is, you know, clearly struggling with this and mm-hmm. like not wanting mm-hmm. to leave this town mm-hmm. she lived in her whole life. And then she <laughs> looks outside and of course, fucking Alex is out there snooping around. And I was like, bud, <laughs> he's not going about it the right way. Making yourself look so suspicious. Yeah. And then especially because she calls the cops. She does. And then he's sitting there like messing with her tires. He could have been cutting a brake line. Yeah. And in that's, that moment. Such, that's exactly what it looks like. Even though whenever they're like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just making sure there's enough air in the tire. And they're like, yeah. get in the car. We're going to the station. So he ends up getting driven off to the station. And which in essence as well, I'm thinking like this actually could also be a good thing because if it's in custody and she actually died while in custody, then it's clearly not him. It's not him. Yeah. But lo and behold, she doesn't die yet. But yeah. she does pull out a, a record of mom's favorite. John Denver. John Denver. Good old Johnny boy. And it um, apparently John Rocky Denver Mountain High. only has one song. And yeah. that is Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> um, is that song about death? Do you know? I've no, never. I think it's just about just love in Colorado. Gotcha. Okay. Colorado, okay. Rocky Mountain High. Gotcha. Those are the only words I know. I just I don't know any John Denver song really, so I'll have to listen to it. I know after I this. listened to that song when I was in Colorado, mm. <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't play the song because I don't want to die yet. Yes. Um. And so we have her in the John house. Ben she Denver sells plummeted after I this bet. movie. Dude, stock went down, <laughs> and so we do have um. Her making like that tea or drink with the vodka, right? And yeah, then... she's making tea and sees the thing in the teapot, mm-hmm. sees the mass and oh, like kind of right. freaks out. And then she pours the tea and then has another freak out. Mm-hmm. And um, you really like kind of are all right. It's edging you again, mm-hmm. basically, because as she's going to make the tea, you know, the burner goes out and she has to light it again. And it's it's a real close up shot. Of that burner, of that pot. Mm-hmm. and you're like, she could explode. Something could explode? happen, and then it's just. Poop. <laughs> There's a lot of teasing in the movie with there like, is. are they going to die this way? Or are they not? And so we, which is good because it builds up the tension, and then um, we do have it leading up to, um, she's got that crack in the cup, and so she's uh, puts it next to the computer, right, or on top of the computer. Yeah, and before that, we had even um, flashed back to. Alex and the and Shrek. Under the cops, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And basically, he's kind of getting interrogated. He's saying like, "I saw it," and he's saying, I, "You know, I this is how it's going to happen." Mm-hmm. And I wish I knew why I knew this, but um, and, and then they were like, bah. "I don't know. I don't know if they said like, could you even do something about it or something?" And I was like, "Could he? Yeah. Like, can he save them? I don't know." And even they're like, "Look, we we thought this was suspicious, but like, we obviously know now how the plane crashed, so we don't know like what the connections are here, yeah. what's going on." But we're, they're trying to figure it out. But and you're looking, you're being the pattern, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, basically, then Shrek says, "Uh, ugh, he 
that kid gives me the creeps. And he said, because I almost believed him for a mm-hmm, second. I was mm-hmm. like, bitch, you should. Yeah. Because they, they, ha- they do have to let him go because they don't have anything to charge him with. Um, and at the same time, he's then rushing to go to Miss Luton's house. And it's unfortunately too late because yep. we do uh, have the... Um, it's kind of a lot. She dies really horribly, actually. She does, yeah, because as you said earlier, that cup on the computer, yeah, which I don't understand sparks. how she doesn't notice. Yeah, that I don't either. A, when the ceramic cracked, I would have, <laughs> yeah. noticed. Yeah. Um, and then B, like it was dripping hardcore. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like a little drip, drip, drip. It was drip, 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 drip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty solid line of vodka, and. <sighs> She, that drips into the computer, causes a hard wire to go. Starts sparking up. And it explodes, catches fire, and then, like, it explodes. The window yeah. breaks. Wh- which then puts a shard of glass right in her neck, yep. um, which is not good. She's obviously freaking out. She and can't talk. losing a lot of blood. Mm-hmm. And she's trying to get her footing, but she ends up she's like slipping in her own slipping blood. in her own blood right in front of the kitchen, and then by the sink and the counter, and then she starts to reach for some freaking. And a of towel. course, at this point, everything's already on fire oh, because mm-hmm. she left a nice, perfect trail of her vodka dripping. That's right. That the fire came right to her. Yeah. And so her whole kitchen's on fire too. And we do have her trying to pull this towel off of what's on top of they're on top of the knife holder thing. You know that yeah, wood block. Set. Yeah, that always holds knives. And she pulls it and all these knives fall <laughs> and poor teacher just gets impelled by these knives. Especially one main the main one, right? Yeah. It's just it was like the biggest good. one was yeah. right in her stomach. Uh-huh. And at, I thought that towel was gonna catch fire at mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. Every time mm-hmm. she was kind of waving it around. Yeah. And but it doesn't happen. That to happen yeah and then at this point we do have alex walking in which is just like oh man she, at this point i'm thinking like alex you you, you deserve to, to go to jail there. for this <laughs> yeah. because you're making yourself look so bad because he then goes in he's trying to save her and as he's trying to save her there's an explosion and a chair falls like over her and ends up impaling her with the blade even more so she's dead at this point and he grabs the blade so out his, of her his fingerprints are all over the blade out of her over her body of course trampled like through her blood mm-hmm. so He's yeah. got bloody footprints so all over the house. He tries to run out. He makes it just in time to get out, be seen by Billy, who just happens to be riding his bike by. And Billy's then always. everything else, always in the mix. And then we have the um, whole house exploding. Yep. Yep. Um, boom. So we have him, uh, Alex, and getting up and running away. Um, At this point, I was like, bro, they're all treating you like shit. Like, just let them die. Yeah. They're not going to fucking her. you. Yeah. Like, fucking come on. They're being rude as hell to you. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And so we have Alex running away and then we have, it cuts to clear and it seems, and it's almost seems like she's about to go meet Alex up, but she ends up meeting up, uh, what's his face, Carter and Billy. Billy. Um, and he's like, why are we meeting at the school memorial Carver's thing? Try- Carter's trying to carve oh, yeah. Terry's name into that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, your pocket knife. And he can't even do it. Do yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're asking her why they wanted to, she wanted to meet up with them. And she says that she wants to find Alex and because Alex knows who dies next. Yep. And it'll be beneficial for all of them. So they do go to like, I guess the park or wherever they're at. I like, think they went to the bay where the accident happened. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And they were searching for him and it doesn't take long for her to find him. Yeah. She finds him and they mm-hmm. have this pretty sentimental talk about mm-hmm. like, you know, is there a special place where everyone gets to keep on living? Basically, um, we get her tragic backstory with her father yeah. dying and mother marrying a dickhole. Yeah. And basically not wanting a child. So she mm-hmm. lives on her own. Yeah. Which I was I like, guess. how? Yeah, I don't know. If you're not, I don't know. I was like, that's that seems like CPS, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, And so that's whenever we, we have, her, yeah, like you said, she was being vulnerable. They end up going back to the car. They're all together and they're all kind of talking about the, the whole death and everything that's happening to them. And so then Carter is just like, who's next? Who's next? And uh alex doesn't say but it kind of is sees that it is kind of unspoken like it's carter who's next and yeah. that's why he's not saying um and even carter takes it as like well it's gonna be me then let me go out by my own terms and he starts like freaking and he going like, like, what and mm-hmm. alex even says what does it matter we're all on the same list and at that yeah. point carter goes really and it was like yes really you dumbass yeah, yeah and then that's when he was like yeah 
well, let's just all go out now. Mm-hmm. And why prolong I'm it? I'm going to go out on my own terms. Mm-hmm. And start speeding, going. to kill them all. Doing not just them, maybe other people. Because he's yeah. being really reckless, driving through the whole city. Billy um, cracked me up. He's like, I fucking hated fridge class. <laughs> yeah. He was the comic relief for sure. And they end up getting all the way up to out of, I guess, like city limits and they're over some train tracks and, and while poor all choice they of were words. Driving over um, there, Alex had a like kind of premonition of the seatbelt ripping. Yeah, mm-hmm. And then also a train approaching and mm-hmm. the window reflection again of the car. Yeah. And so yeah, then they're obviously telling Carter, stop the car, stop the car. Poor choice of words because he ends up stopping it right on the freaking train tracks. Yep. And he's like, Oh, you told me to stop the car. Yeah. And so we do hear the freaking horn blaring from the train coming we hear it on the tracks and so they're all freaking out um we have billy and um clear and alex getting out of the vehicle and they're trying to tell freaking carter to get out but he's just being stupid and he won't get out until finally the train is getting pretty close and so he's like you know what it's time to go yeah and he tries to turn the car on and doesn't start and then he's trying to get out of his seatbelt, but it won't come off so that's whenever and the car locks him in yeah and then alex is like being a hero and he's gonna go over there and he tries to pull carter out the dude who's been like being a dick to him this whole time and it's like literally the most narrow like the they both should have died but i even with the way that it went i was like did they get out because the shot that it oh the way that i i was like actually like yeah (laughs) yeah it looks very i was clenched because i thought they got hit or i thought that Alex was about to come away with like half a body. You know? Yes. Yeah, that yeah. was my other thought mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. it looked like he didn't get Carter fully out the window. Yeah. I thought he was just going to have a torso yeah. with him, which honestly would have been pretty cool. And so they do end up making it. And if it was like a double whammy and we got Billy mm-hmm. right after it the same way. Yeah. It could have done a double, yeah. but we end up having them surviving. They're getting up. Um, Billy is like freaking out. He's like, you know what? Carter is next. I'm going to stay away from him because they still think that he's next. And he's like um, talking a lot of shit. He's like, I'm mm-hmm. not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to. And then instantly gets decapitated. Because as we did see some little shrapnel yeah. metal underneath the train. Um, and and it, was a cool, uh, it, it was a cool decapitation mm-hmm. because it wasn't a clean neck level. It was like right above his upper lip and mm-hmm. in between his nose. Yeah. And so he, he just kind of had this like. Or like maybe right at the mouth split. Yeah. It was pretty wild. So he had like a little half head up there. Yeah. Um, and then he falls through cool. and falls over. Um, so that's whenever they're like, OMG. So it skipped Carter because I saved his life and it went over to Billy. And I'm just like, okay, sure. That makes sense. Um, and so that's whenever they're like freaking out. Um, and he says Claire and Alex is next. Yeah. Alex and Claire have to like run away essentially because the cops are coming and then she's going to go put them in her um, dad's cabin. And then we have, I guess, you know, what's his face? Why was I going to say Derek? What's his name? Carter um, staying because obviously his car was involved in the accident. So he's yeah. going to probably explain like, well, what the hell happened? We were trying to get out and then he died, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that's whenever we do have, it just kind of goes over to um, Alex, right? Yeah. We're yeah, with Alex in her dad's cabin. Mm-hmm. And he's like safety proofing everything. You can just tell he stinks. <laughs> he looks so <laughs> he hasn't grimy. showered. It's probably been a week or so. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like eating something weird. It looks like can. cat food. Yeah. I thought I was like, is this cat food I think or it was. like weird mush? Mm-hmm. At first I thought he was going to like light one of those things that go under food to keep it warm, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And then it was he like, didn't. oh, that was food. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's got, you know, like l- heavy leather gloves on mm-hmm. and stuff. Everything is just very like dummy proof. Yeah. So that way, and he's like extra chewing this mushy food to make sure that mm-hmm. he's not going to choke. And you can tell he doesn't like it either. Um, what it gives us to is maybe like Claire had like left him with a couple things and was like, I'm going to come back in a couple of days and give you more food. But because she's being watched by the FBI, she can't leave her house and go there. Otherwise, they'll find him. Yeah. Um, so he's been kind of just like doing it on his own there. And so we do have um, uh, what's her face clear than um Oh, yeah, no, no, because he's the in the wind, house. Yeah, that's right. The wind in, rolls in. And you're like, oh, uh-huh. here it is. We see leaves coming from under the door. And so it rolls enough to where we have these like um, fishing poles. Is that what it is? Or something falls. Yeah, it was a fishing pole that got mm-hmm. like, I think the 
can of food that he was eating got knocked out of his hand. Then it hit the fishing pole, made the fishing pole like fall over. And then the lure wrapped around the door handle, opened it. And then Mm -hmm. some sort of knife like was going to fall through through the through the fucking door. Yeah. Yeah. But he had stopped it. Mm -hmm. And then he had he opened it and he found like a rusty. They were the hooks, the lures. Yeah. And he was like, huh tetanus i outsmarted you yeah and basically and i was like boy don't don't taunt this he's taunting like, death oh, man you gotta stop it's getting a little arrogant um and so we do have it does seem like he's losing his mind yeah. um and then we cut to clear and she's looking out the uh window she's looking at the cops and she we then don't see her in the window as a cops are looking up and she's at their car and i'm like oh she's really about to give him up because she's like look if y'all go get him i have to come with you and y'all have to make sure that he's safe yeah um and she's essentially just doing that because she knows like he can't survive out there so long he's gonna die of like starvation or dehydration or something else you yeah. know and so that's whenever they're like telling her you can't go with us but we promise you he will be safe yeah um and so they go up to the, uh, or we have him, we cut back to him at the cabin and he mm-hmm. starts noticing that he got the, um, he gets that something reminds him or that premonition. He remembers that he didn't switch spots. He sees oh, the, the paper that you talked about. Yes. Rachel and Monica. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he sees them and he was like, I never switched spots. Clear seat was technically in front of mine. Yeah. Had I not moved with them. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so like at that point in time, you know, he she's actually next and yeah. so then he's like i have to get out of here and goes and, to help clear yeah. yeah and then we flash back to clear and shit is going down outside of her house basically mm-hmm. um there is like lightning happening or something the electrical thing and then yeah. the electrical wire gets like cut the telephone wires or whatever and, and so, so then we just got this giant live wire flopping around like an electric hill yeah it's all in the air and she goes outside because she wants to save her dog because her dog is too close to it in the backyard we do have her out there trying to get him untied but it's not coming untied enough fast enough and, and we do have the pool and that, that like got impelled weird- by that rod thing that spinning thing Mm -hmm. i guess that was a clothing rack too i guess to hang your clothes i don't know what it was i don't know but i was like oh this looks like the fan Mm -hmm. coming back into play at the beginning yeah but then it misses her impales the The pool pool. Mm -hmm. and that pool is just in itself about to just completely come undone because it's one of those like you know aluminum like put up pools above ground ground pool um and we do have her narrowly not making it because she does let the dog go just in time and runs off away from the water as it's coming towards her and that electrical current is going and she jumps onto like those rose garden things yeah she jumps onto the lattice the the lattice there you go Mm -hmm. on her house Mm -hmm. and um Prince thankfully did get away, right? The yes, puppy. he did. The dog okay, got away. Mm-hmm. I was, I heard him kind of yelp at one point while I was writing, and I was like, "Oh no, didn't no, he no, no, no!" He because he went around and he was like tr- looking at her and looking at the electrical stuff, and I think there was another shadow or something that was supposed to be like death, ah. and he was like, mm-hmm. like I didn't to like death. That. Yeah. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. And while all this is happening, we're also kind of like flashing back to Alex running from now the FBI because they were chasing after him. They're chasing him. And the boy gets on the lake. I'm like, that does not seem like a good plan. He like canoed across the lake, got to the other side. And they were right there. Yeah, because they were like, "Okay, we're just going to drive around this little lake. And they were chasing him. And then he like falls down, almost kills himself, gets a log like through the face. And then, you know, he's running again. And then. Um, he gets there's another lightning strike and yeah. it like makes a tree fall over. This tree falls on top of him, which that right. alone probably would have killed somebody. Killed him. Yeah. Um, but but he, it's on top of him and he's like literally getting drowned by the tree because he's like in this little shallow water, mosh but pit area. he yeah. can't get his head up. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, he does get out though. Sure does. Um, because well, Clear's not dead yet. Nope. And um, they. He gets to her eventually. She's having she, one lucky event after another. Yeah. Because she's so much wild shit is Try, happening in her house. From getting through the house that's now catching on uh, like sparks going everywhere and things getting thrown everywhere by winds. And then like she ends up making it all the way to her garage. But like as even as she gets in the car, like we see like things are um, like outside. There's still that electrical thing. And yeah, then, obviously like, the motorized system isn't working mm-hmm, because for the door, the electric, the electrics, like 
everything yeah. is fucked. And she's trying to get out. Yeah. And like, essentially, I think at some point she just ends up putting it in reverse and like puts that hoe in yeet and just yeah. like rips the whole, the whole thing off <laughs> yeah. and goes back. But she can't get something far. something also comes into the car, punctures yeah. the gas line. Yeah, from the front. Because then it all just runs out of gas. And then now, of course, with all the fire. And she's like right in the middle of the another driveway. Accelerant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with this live wire. We've got fire already happening. We've now got gas leaking everywhere. There's so many ways she can die. Yes. And then there's also turpentine now spilling from the garage as well. Mm -hmm. So this car is like primed. Death trap. To go up. Mm -hmm. And then that's when Alex gets to her and he's like, stay in. Yeah. He's like, don't "Don't touch touch the door. Yeah. Because you're grounded right now. With the tires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you touch this metal and stuff, you're going to get fried. Yeah. So he kind of feels like he does what he feels like is the only thing he can do. I'm going to save you. He's, mm mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's going to essentially tells her, like, you know, you know what to do whenever I grab this little wire thing. Like, you need to get out of the car and run as fast as far away from here. I don't know why he didn't, like, take off that really heavy duty jacket he had on. Mm -hmm. And need something to hold it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking that, too. (laughs) But it's a movie. And so we do have him grabbing it. She gets out. She runs off as he's getting electrocuted, essentially. And then blown back from Mm -hmm. the fuse, like something exploding. And and he gets... Yeah, thrown all the way back. And he's That's got whenever, like steam coming off of him. <laughs> and we do see that everything starts dying down. Like even the electrical current that was going through that wire is like done doing what it was doing. Mm-hmm. And so we have the two cops running or FBI agents running up and Clear running up to him. And um, I mean, I thought he was pretty much dead at this point. Yeah, because they said he didn't have a pulse mm-hmm. or he's not breathing. He yeah. didn't have a pulse. And then all of a sudden we're back on a plane. Yeah. We're on, we're going down a runway, mm-hmm. um, the tarmac thing. What is that called? Anyways. A runway, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And then we see Carter and Clear clear on the plane mm-hmm. and then Alex pops up. So you're like, yep. oh, he's not dead. And they just landed in Paris. Yep. It was only six months later, six months which later. I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know if that's enough time. I don't think I would be able to get on a plane yeah, quite for a yet. while. Uh, <laughs> Especially not going to Paris. Yeah. And they that's a long plane ride. Yeah. And they end up getting, but maybe, yeah, I, yeah it's that, that I mean, trip they never got to take, but yeah. it's too soon. And so they end up getting there and um, we do have them at this little cafe, kind of like the same setup where they were earlier in front mm-hmm. of a cafe on a corner and everything. And, you know, they're trying to enjoy themselves, but we do have Alex who's like, you know, there's just that one thing that I, you know, I it still bugs Something me. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah. Something feels, it doesn't feel right. And he starts like bringing up his little plan and he's Which, like his little the, pattern thing. Had that shit all, like ready. Ready to go. And even the clear is just like, oh, not this again. Yeah. And Carter's like, stop, don't bring it up. Because him and Clear are together now, clearly. Yeah. yeah. Cl- clearly. And, and um, of course, the street performer in the background is playing John Denver, mm-hmm. which... I don't expect to go to France and hear John Denver being yeah. played. Um, For real. Yeah. And it was in French as well. And so like the language, but we do have um, them kind of talking about it. And we have, uh, what's his face? Alex like starts hearing the John Denver in the back and then picks it up. And then he's like, oh my gosh. Okay. And so he gets up and he's like going to go away from them. Cause I think at this point. Every little thing is setting him off. Yeah. He's like, there, something happened. The waitress lit the um, heater Mm -hmm. that was next to him. Something fell off, made glass shatter, fall down. And so he's just like, every little thing is scary. And he knows that he he would be next. He should be the next target. So I think he's also trying to remove himself from them to like keep them safe. Yeah. And then um, he ends up, because he tells him, he's like, meet me back at the hotel room later or something like that. And so he's about to cross the street and Clear like yells his name and saves him because he almost gets hit by a bus. Because she saw the 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 reflection of the... or she saw that's uh, right. much like he did that like kind of premonition of the bus in the window and when it wasn't there yet. As that's happening, Carter is the one who jumps and saves him out and gets him out of the way. Mm-hmm. And that's whenever Carter is like, you see, like, if I just saved your life, then like, I don't remember. He said, he goes, OK, well, I just saved your life. And he goes and then Alex responds, then it just get me. And so Carter goes, who's next? next. And he's like, oh, and, shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like you because the sign had fallen like Alex, I think, saved himself from the bus. Uh But then this chain of events happened, knocking all of like more electrical explosions and this big like marquee light Mm -hmm. fell and it was like swinging down and it would have just taken him out like 
but yeah. Carter jumped in the way. That's right. But of course, something that's swinging comes back has to come back, and yeah. it got Carter on the back because mm-hmm. it basically was like, "Who's next?" And of course, Carter's back is to it, and we can see it, and we're just like, "You," and, and then it goes it, to black. That's the solid end of the movie. ending. Yeah, I good. like that yeah, ending. Yeah. Um, and that is 2000's Final Destination. Yeah. Um, a classic. Pretty good. Um, I I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought that the characters were pretty well written. There was kind of like, you know, uh, the weird girl, the jockey dude, the like classic comical goofy it's guy. It's like your breakfast club. The protagonist. Yeah. Breakfast club, but make it spooky uh-huh. and all this bad shit <laughs> happening. Yeah. Essentially, even with the teachers and stuff. And um. You know, I really enjoyed it. I thought the deaths were pretty cool. Um, they were pretty creative, especially I kind of I really like the teacher's death, Miss Luton. I thought her death yeah. was pretty cool with everything going it on. It was it was really um, and I like like all the teasing of like when you think someone's going to die a certain way, but then it doesn't happen that way. I like that. too. Um, all the nice little fakes and for fakes out. knowing what comes next and like final station two, three and like the rest of the way. It's really awesome seeing like the inception, like the original. Yeah. Like one, you know, the idea of it all and stuff um, and seeing how things grow. I um. For that reason, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Mm, mm-hmm. That's exactly the number I thought you were going to say. Yeah. Maybe because that's the number I thought I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would give it a 4.5 in total of brew ratings and booze. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And like, I feel like that's a movie too that I would like, if someone wanted to watch something, a horror movie and they hadn't seen it, I'd be like, watch Final Destination. It's pretty yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely not um a scary one i mean it's a thriller and it's a little gory well this one really isn't too much you don't see Mm -hmm. well i Mm -hmm. guess luton's death is pretty gory i mean terry's death the blood yeah but you don't like see her body mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so you just get the blood spatter yeah um but yes all of it you know again really easy to get through Mm -hmm. and i mean it's action-packed we're basically you know in the first little bit we're getting someone dying and then yeah we're getting you're getting multiple deaths back to back to back to back and there's like there's a death every 15 minutes yeah 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 the really interesting ways that makes you paranoid of everything Mm -hmm. um as they have my ever since i've seen them yep. and then today my anxiety is a little high because i'm like oh god i'm gonna die yeah. at everything <laughs> and definitely a movie like that that leaves you with like the lingering of like scared Shit, fear what's gonna happen fear next? essentially is what it is you yeah. know it, that's a good that's a good horror movie this is a movie that sticks with me more than other films have mm-hmm. so and i mean because it's essentially like what is the thing that i feel like most people are most afraid of like you know people I mean, there's the dark there's spiders there's dogs there's you but know roller coasters but like death heights is- but like death is like the one thing that we can all i feel like unanimously unanimously are like death because no matter what it will come for happen. all of us yeah yeah mm-hmm. which is bleh. I'm gonna throw up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, e, great movie. But to not disrespect death, I give it four point five. Yes. <laughs> and you do? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I really enjoyed, really enjoyed this one. I'm curious to see how three stands up in my adult mind, mm-hmm. um, as compared to one and two. I've seen these way too many times. Even like, clo- like I watched the second one probably a week ago. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I haven't. I haven't. The third seen... one maybe a couple years ago. I haven't seen any of them in several years. Mm. So I, I'm excited. It was kind of like the first one. I think I'd only seen once. Okay. Mm, no, actually, I think I've seen the yeah. first one probably two times, but a long time ago. This was definitely, I think, just like only my third time watching the first one. Yeah. And like actually watching it. And then the second one I've seen probably two times as well. The and then the one. third one, obviously, I've seen a fuck ton of times because I really liked it. And see, the second one's my favorite. So that's the one that I've seen. Yeah. Fuck, I've seen that one I, at least I think 10 I've times. I probably have seen the third one as much because, well, we had it on DVD. Mm-hmm. And so my friend and I would just watch it gotcha. all the time. Yeah. So I think th- I think that's why that one stuck in mm-hmm. my head as much as it did. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see how that one stands up. Yeah. Excited it stands to watch the test the of one. time. And the second one has a continuation. Uh, you can't cheat death, right? They, they all continue. Yeah. Um, they're all go in line with each other. But um, this one like, clears in the second one. Mm-hmm. So I like that, too, because it's going to draw back to this one as well. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you haven't gathered already, the next film we will be covering is Final Destination 2. However. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before that, right? We are going to be doing 
So this was that surprise we were talking about for the new year. Mm -hmm. We're wanting to cover the listener request. We mentioned this um, a while back. We kind of covered some of them in the Mm -hmm. month of October, but we want to cover, we have quite a, quite a list of listener requests. And so every other week, we want to come out with a an episode that's specifically from a listener and mm-hmm. tell like y'all's favorite horror movies or least favorite if you want to be like Brittany um, mm-hmm. and let us know why you fucking hated this movie. Yeah, I love that. We love to shit on a movie. Um, and so and then, of course, we would, you know, read your reviews so you can always send those in. The, all of those people communicated to mm-hmm. us through um, Instagram. And yeah. so that is what we're going to start doing. So every other week basically i guess like the second and fourth weeks of the month you can expect a listener episode as well Mm -hmm, in addition mm -hmm. to so we'll be covering a listener episode later on this week but the next film we'll be covering in our main lineup yeah is final destination two two numero dos yeah and that will be like as always in the lovely rogue media network studios Mm -hmm. which we are Mm -hmm. tonight thank you for recording us and <laughs> sticking it out through it with us yeah, this um, one had a few uh, asides but it's fun yeah yeah and then uh wh- wh- where can you find those lovely other podcasts that rogue media network um you has? can find them all of the podcasts that they have you can find it in one central place that is rogue media network.com that's right or you can find it on a slew of podcasting platforms the biggest two being spotify and also apple podcast mm-hmm. but wherever you do listen don't forget to rate review like and subscribe that's right because that is the only way we can get ahead in this world and then if you want to let us know your favorite scary movie or least favorite and and get on our list of listener requests you can mm-hmm. do so by reaching out to us on instagram and that is at boo Bay's podcast and that's at b-o-o-b-a-e-s podcasts because we're your boo bays, not your boo babes that is right yeah yeah and i realize we actually did cover one of the listener requests on the um mm-hmm. on the list it was sinister too oh we did yeah oh, and so funny. i'll have to go back and actually get this person's <laughs> review on that one yeah so we can um tag it in cover it because i was like oops mm-hmm. i didn't realize we had covered one from Aww. that list so it's we can easy. do something to to show them yeah that we we t- we saw their um it's not like a request m- yeah really it was just <laughs> it's not really a listener i don't i think she's listened a few times but it's, it's a friend of mine gotcha so gotcha i don't feel as bad oh that's okay we'll, yeah. we'll figure out a way to do it <laughs> but all right you guys until next time bye, bye bays. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It's all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues on January 20th through the 22nd, 2023. Tickets are on sale now at roguecon23.com.